In this video, we'll answer the question, where does candle wax go? So we have a candle burning and we want to know where that wax goes. We know the candle gets smaller over time, but where does the wax go? One way we can check this is we can weigh a candle. So here we've weighed the candle on the glass, the watch glass there, and see what happens over time. So right now, the candle weighs 42.0 grams. And we're going to let this burn for a while, and then we'll come back and we'll measure the mass of the candle after some of it's burned away. So we come back after five minutes and we're at 41.7. That means we've lost 0.3 grams. And those grams, where did they go? They went into the air as gases. So let's take a look at the chemical equation here for how this happened. What are those gases? So at this point, we know we started with a candle, candle wax, we had oxygen gas in the air and that the mass went somewhere and we're expecting that to be those invisible gases. We know that candles are made of carbon and hydrogen. So we could write it like this. We could say our carbons and hydrogens, this is the formula for an alkane, plus our oxygen gas, O2, that gives us these gases, carbon dioxide and water. The wax, we know that was a solid oxygen gas. Carbon dioxide's a gas as well and the water, that would also be a gas because of the heat from the reaction. This is an exothermic reaction. So this would be the equation, and this would clearly show the candle wax went into the air as gases. Let's take a look at this H2O. Maybe we can see that. So if we light our candle again, we can test if the oxygen gas is necessary by taking it away. So if we cover the candle up with a beaker, we'll see that the candle, it goes out. And if we look carefully, we'll see that the beaker gets kind of foggy. That's not the smoke. That fog, that's the water condensing on the side of the beaker. The candle goes out, and now we get a little smoke. But all that fogginess, that's water from the chemical reaction. Based on this information, what we've seen, the evidence, when a candle's burning, the wax, it's transformed into carbon dioxide and water as a gas, and it goes into the air. As a result, the mass of the candle decreases. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.